All right, guys, we're back with another video. It's a casual Friday, but Kelly here <laughs> always means business. We are reacting to, I think, a series of, of sort of Zoom mishaps. We are incredibly familiar with Zoom court these days, so whether you like it or not, uh, I think it's here to stay, and there's always some wild things that happen, so let's see. All right, Kelly, you ready? Ready. Is that you, Mr. Freeman? Hey, hey, I'm here, sir. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm late. Okay. Well, you were supposed probably to be a suspended here license case. Person. Yep. <laughs> um, oh. Um. One second. The joys of Zoom. Uh -huh. We've all dealt with this. Oh man. Can you hear me? Yes. Where are you now? Oh, got a passenger in the car. He's Ubering. Okay. <laughs> Definitely Ubering. <laughs> all right. Where are you? Are you? Are you oh, I can hear you now. I can hear you now. We're all good. Are you at work? We're all good. I was just leaving work. Um, I was working 16 hours trying to catch up on bills, but I'm so sorry I'm late. I, this so, looks so terrible, but I don't have any <laughs> yeah, excuses does. for you. The driving suspended. I knew it. Yes, I called it. 100%. Car indicating me you just drove to work. So uh, you know, I need to no, get a ticket no. on the clue bus. No, so just a second. Uh, I don't want you to say anything because I'm – rank speculation i believe you drove to work you drive to work every day you drove today you're naive enough to call me from the driver's seat of your car <laughs> but i don't know any of that i don't i can't prove any of it and i can't just guess uh, what i will say is you're shooting yourself in the foot and you're running out of toes if you get another <laughs> driving suspended you're going to lose your license you're going to be hosed and you won't be able to get it so if the guy in the back seat has a driver's license, then <laughs> this is not uh, something we haven't seen before, is this it? This literally happens every <laughs> single day. We could do like hours just on the things we've seen on Zoom. People are not dressed. Uh -huh. People are smoking cigarettes. People, People are driving with suspended or revoked licenses. Laying down in bed is one. Sleeping. Where I'm like, How do you think that's acceptable for everyone to see you laying on your pillow? Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> you were talking about on uh, one of the videos you did alone that it's hard for us as defense attorneys. You know, sometimes you can't control your clients. Like, you're if you're not the co-host, you can't mute other people. You know, you wish you could mute your client. Like, please stop talking. Please stop talking. Yep. This is why you hired me. Let me do the talking for you. Let me be your mouthpiece. Yep. Um, they're like, Judge, can I say something? You're like, <laughs> no, no, you can't. Yeah. If you can see me right now, the <laughs> answer is no. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Compared to like uh, back in the day, like you'd yeah. be, you and I'd be standing at the bench <laughs> next to each other, like, sure. and they're like, I think in this situation, I'd be the attorney. You would, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's probably. Thank you. Um, fine. You tell me to shut yeah, up. I'd be like, Derek, uh, stop talking. <laughs> yes. And, yeah, I can literally remember grabbing clients' yeah. arms, like, shut the, right. you know what up. Right. Um, <laughs> With all that being said, I still love Zoom court. I still love Zoom. Like, I don't want it to go away. Some judges, for just the insanity like this, like, am I on mute? Am I, can you hear me? Yeah, like, all that just grinds on you, right? Some judges have chosen and locations and whatever have chosen to eliminate Zoom. I still think that's a mistake. Like, it's incredibly convenient for attorneys. You can get a lot done. Um, you know, people don't have to take the day off work all the time because there's so many court dates that are just status dates, like check-in dates. And those are really appropriate for Zoom. Not not a trial and stuff like that. You should still be in person. But that that's the preference I have, at least status dates on Zoom. Anything of substance, be in person. I totally agree. I think litigation, even pleas, I mean, sometimes if you want to make an exception if somebody's like out of state or something like that, I think that those should be in person. So mm -hmm. you can talk to the client one-on-one, -on -one, explain what their rights are, explain, you know, what rights they're waiving. I think signing that physical piece of paper in front of them like means more than, oh yeah, here's an email, just type in your name and yeah. you're waiving your right to a jury trial that way. Um, but the Zoom status states for everything you just said, we can literally be in multiple places at once, which means we have to have less attorneys. That's more time that we can review discovery, talk to our clients, all that kind of stuff. It's so advantageous for us. Um, plus it's like less driving, you know. Yep. Um, there's so many benefits to it. So I wish that Zoom would stay around for status states for sure. Yep. yep. Despite the headaches it brings. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> Brendan, are you here? Yeah. Yes, I'm there, sir. Yes, sir. No, no. No, no. You're the plaintiff. 
Sorry, yet, I, I forgot to unmute it. I forgot to unmute it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's this other person? I well, we both are on the lease, but the eviction notice was sent to her. All right. So look, I, I don't are they coming? I would be advising you of your right to an attorney and she all that. And you still can go to legal services if you want, but it's not the same situation as Mr. Rayan indicated that's King Property LLC that owns this property, not him as an individual. He's not the proper party. What's going on with I'm Westgate Manor? She's for dancing. The reasons that I stated on. Oh, yeah, she is. <laughs> Dismiss um, without I'm, prejudice. You can refile. Okay. Um, I would just like to say, is Magic still connected? Yes. Okay. Hey, Magic, we'll, we'll work this out because we really do want to work. Out. Yeah, we still yeah, everything we, we, still we don't talk want. about. Yeah. 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 If you guys, stop talking, hey, stop hey, talking. If you guys can talk on the phone, okay? Because I've got to deal with all these other folks on Zoom. Okay? Bye. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Fucking asshole. <laughs> I knew that that was going to happen. Oh, hang on here. Hang on too here. Late, Whoa. Too late. Whoa. Don't disconnect. Just no. it's too already late. disconnected. Well, guess what? We're going to call them back. That's Hello. Is this Mr. Marshall? <laughs> yeah, this is me. Mr. Marshall, this is Judge Herman Marable. <laughs> I'm going to hold you in contempt of court. I was not talking to it doesn't matter. You said it on my record. It was heard. It was recorded. I'm holding you in contempt of court. And you know, that, that's, <laughs> Matt, the, that's Matt the funny thing psyched. about it, Mr. Marshall. Your case got dismissed. <laughs> you won, so to speak. You don't even know how to close your mouth and, and, and leave the stage. Oh. You won. Do you have anything that you want to say? But well, like I said, I apologize. I did not realize that the mic was still on. Hot mic, hot mic. Not intended towards you. It was that my freak. It was my cat that jumped up. Oh, come on. Sir, no cat jumped on you. You're going to lie and make it worse? You're going to lie and make it worse? Your cat didn't jump on you. Sorry. Did you hear that? What? Ma'am. You didn't say the cat jumped on his wiener, did you? Jumped on his private area. <laughs> well, I'm assuming he's wearing pants, right? Oh, Judge, don't get into this. Said the cat jumped on his wiener. <laughs> Are you wearing pants? <laughs> he's wearing pants, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm I, did, I think <laughs> both of you got a lot to learn about yeah. Zoom etiquette. He's like, that's another thing. Pets are not welcome oh, in my that's apartment. Awesome. That's, that's a breach of the lease. Oh, man, that is... Man, I love it. I've, I've never heard the cat jumped on my wiener. No, I've never heard before. that <laughs> either. Yeah. What are your thoughts on, you know, being held in contempt in court when, I mean, we're all adults. All you did was say a swear word, right? What do you think about that? One thing that I was thinking is that the Zoom does make it a lot more difficult for judges to control, you know, things like that too. control the courtroom, hold people in contempt. Like, what are you going to do? Now you're getting him back on Zoom. Are you going to go issue a warrant for his arrest? Right. You know, Send and the are sheriff you, to his house. Yeah, like are, you're having this contempt hearing over the phone. I mean, you could certainly argue that he had a right to be present in court, had an attorney for that, all those kinds of things. Um, Not for, so I don't, I don't know the rules on contempt, but I don't know if you can on contempt, but we, maybe we'll look into that one. I, I think contempt is... A judge can do that and gives an immediate sentence. Um, I think the rules are different a, a, a little bit on that. Yeah. But the, the point is that, that, yeah, you're right. I mean, in, in court, judges got a really powerful weapon, and that is sheriff with handcuffs in a holding cell right outside the courtroom. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that can keep people to shut up and turn their phones off and hats right. off and not swear at the judge. Yeah. Um, Zoom, it can still be done. I mean, even though it's on Zoom, the, the rules are that it is still a courtroom and you're still held to the same standard and all that stuff. So, I mean, I think legally speaking, the judge can find him in contempt. I, I totally agree. And I think that that's kind of a balancing act for the judge to be like, do I need to send a message to every other litigant that's on my Zoom right now that that behavior is not acceptable? And could that be done short of calling this guy back and holding him in right. contempt? Like, could it be just an admonishment to the other... Litigants, like, I think that that other video that you watched the other day where the guy called the judge to see you next Tuesday. Yeah. So what did you just say when you walked away? I called you a c 
because you're Woo. That's Did you? The charges I There's have. no question there that he had to hold I that guy in contempt. Had to. He's got a full courtroom. Exactly. Like, you gotta. Yeah. I mean, it's like my kids. Like you can't just let them like walk all over you. You have Absolutely. to have some guardrails in place. And even though we're all adults. Swearing in the middle of court at the judge or even at another. I mean, can you imagine if you did it at the other person? Like, you have to put those guardrails in place um, if you want to uh, have somewhat normal humans mm -hmm. that you're interacting yeah. with, just like my kids. Like I said, I hope Zoom stays, and, and really, it's it's a learned behavior, both for people, right? Um, that people in court, defendants. But also judges, too. Like, there'll be a wave of judges. You know, as more new judges come on the bench, the new ones will know and they'll control yeah. it better. And, and there will be a come a day where, you know, a Zoom courtroom is, is controlled uh, and, and is, in, truthfully, not just controlled. It's not control for control's sake. No. It's because... It's for efficiency purposes. Yes. And better outcomes, even. Like, you hear both sides of the story. You can make more educated rulings as opposed to around trying to talk about a cat jumping on a wiener, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, this one. Oh, the cat one, yeah, the cat one. one. I believe you have a filter turned on in the video settings. <laughs> uh, you might want to uh, uh, take, take We're a trying look. to, we're tr can you hear me, Judge? <laughs> I can hear you. I think it's a filter. It, in the it is, and I don't know how to remove it. I've got my assistant here. She's trying to, but... Uh, I'm prepared to go forward with it. <laughs> I'm here lying about it's not, I'm not a cat. <laughs> How are these other, I, was uh, I can, I can see that. Bauer, not um, I think if you click the up arrow next to this. I want to see the whole video. That is uh, my favorite. I have yeah. seen that before. He says he's, repeatedly, I'm not a cat. I'm, I'm not, not a cat. cat. I'm not a cat. And he's like, I'm prepared to go for it. Could you imagine doing a trial as a cat and like wanting the judge <laughs> so to take you awesome. seriously? <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> Oh, that's I, I, how come we've not found that cat filter and just done that? In court? <laughs> yeah, Zoom might have removed yeah. that one. Yeah, <laughs> California Classic. doctor yeah. under investigation for attending virtual traffic court while operating on a patient. Oh, the I judge heard this in one. disbelief calling it inappropriate and stopping the proceedings. Good morning, Robin. It feels like I think you got like this from a movie, but this is real. The surgeon oh. literally multitasking. At one point, you could see blood on his gloves mid-operation while on Zoom. The judge rescheduling that court appearance to a later date while the medical board is looking into it all. Yeah. Are you uh, available for trial? It, it kind of looks like you're in an operating room right now. I am, sir. I'm in an operating room. Yes, I'm available for trial. This morning, a demand wow. for answers after a plastic surgeon was caught on camera zooming into traffic court while operating on a patient, the judge presiding in disbelief. So unless I'm mistaken, I'm seeing a defendant that's in the middle of an operating room appearing to be actively engaged in providing services to a patient. Is that correct, Mr. Yeah, Green? Yeah, what about a, is there yes, a HIPAA sir. violation Dr. Here? Scott Green sworn yeah. in by the clerk with what? blood on his surgical gloves. Do you solemnly state under penalty of perjury that the testimony you provide today will be the truth, Why the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I yes, sir. think they're The Sacramento-based surgeon at one point appeared to be focused on surgery, his head down with medical equipment beeping in the background. Hello? The judge not comfortable with Green's multitasking. No, you're, you're not comfortable. Yeah. For the court appearance. I do not feel comfortable. Uh, for the welfare of a patient if you're in the process of operating. But Green insisted he was fit to continue with both the operation and the hearing. <laughs> I have another God. surgeon right here who's doing the surgery with me so I can stand here and allow them to do the surgery also. Not at all. I'm, I, I don't think so. I don't think that's appropriate. Give him a new court date. People healthy, we want to keep them alive. That's, that's alive. important. Now oh Green could face legal action. With yeah. respect to his medical license, the he issue should. is whether yeah. there was a violation of the standard of care. Additionally, yes. the patient might have their own lawsuit for medical malpractice. Absolutely. And the key question there would be whether the doctor committed negligence. The medical board 100%. for California telling ABC News it is aware of this incident and we'll be looking into it. That's just yes. like so pretentious of yes. that surgeon. Like I'm smart enough to do brain surgery and also to testify yeah. at my trial. <laughs> I don't know if it was brain surgery, but <laughs> well, yes. yeah, yeah. But you're totally, you're totally right. Um, dare I say? So we've represented a lot of doctors over the years. I almost don't want to say this on camera, but there is something about doctors. They're high IQ people, 
And yeah, there's a little bit of that, right? Like this, this traffic tickets, this law is beneath me, right? Like 100%. just go take care of this, right? While I go do yeah. real stuff, you know? <laughs> yeah. You're like, yeah, I get it. Like a minor traffic ticket is not the most serious thing in the world, but I need you here, right? Yeah. Like, like this, this guy probably maybe didn't have an attorney, but like, dude, I, I need you here. Like I can take care of this for you, but you can't be in the middle of freaking surgery. Yeah, for right. It. <laughs> like, yeah, and also, like, you need to, like, pick up my calls and sign documents to give me permission. Yes. Yeah, it's always like, I'm too busy to deal with. Oh, God, I know. Yeah. Um, and absolutely, there's a, a lawsuit there. Now, there may not be any real damages right. to they, point hopefully to. Hopefully not. Hopefully not, yeah. right? Um, but still, yeah, uh, I don't know, maybe a violation of privacy. There's absolutely HIPAA. Yeah. I, th there's some things there, right. for sure. Yeah, and we only saw that like small window, but throughout the entire proceeding, like there could have been some identifying information about the patient or... Yeah. I mean, that is just so ridiculous. Then we'll bring this fool in. <coughs> is this the same, is this judge? the same judge? Is Alexander Heath the fool? Oh, no. Wow, nice. Look at his name. Good morning, morning, sir. What's 000. your name? <laughs> no, I see it. Me? Yeah, you. Yes. Is he in the bathroom? Nathaniel Saxon, sir. Your name's not Buttfucker Three Thousand, you yo ho. Logging into my court with that as your screen name. <laughs> Why would that? that in a little bit? He, uh, he's in check. Sign out. What kind of idiot logs into court <laughs> like that? What's your name again? Nathaniel Saxton, sir, but I don't believe that I typed anything like that in. <laughs> well, that's what it says. At some point you did. No, mm, just keep well, denying I'm, it. I apologize. That's just not Yeah, me. you should. Yeah. I'll put you in the waiting room. You can sit in limbo for a while and <laughs> limbo. think about what you call yourself online. <laughs> that's, uh, that's awesome. It reminds me of, like, people's old AOL screen names yeah. and stuff. Like, just, like... Yeah. Even today, some people give us their email, and I'm like, really? Yeah, 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 right. We actually had a client, and it was a cannabis DUI, and his screen name was something like 420 Forever, yeah. like I love getting high or something. And the alcohol and drug evaluation people had a huge problem with it. I was yeah. like, please get a Gmail named john.doe at gmail.com. Exactly, please. Like, it's like, yes. <laughs> help me help you, sir. Yes. <laughs> common sense goes back to that common yes. sense thing. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, so all you people out there who have your old AOL screen name, just get something updated, you know, get something. Flash, tell us what it is in the comments. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there, oh, I love that. Yes, yeah. tell us what your most ridiculous email or, um, yes, screen old screen name. name is in the comments. Yeah. Yes, that's awesome. <laughs> The joys of Zoom, and there you got it, folks. Thanks for watching. <laughs>